Hello everyone. So here we go, the unveiling. This has been like a day and a half. Um, earlier I'd gotten in here and scraped around it with a popsicle stick and um, basically this was clear, you know, vinegar when I, we started out here and uh, got this film on it now. You can see the popsicle stick. That, that's all that gunk's going to come off by just using a rag. I got right here a shop rag. And I'm about to pull that out and uh, see if it needs some more. But uh, it's been about a day and a half. So let me pause this and pull that out. But look how that turned out popsicle. It's kind of like gray matches the... But it's done its work, I think. So I'm going to take that out. And if it's clean enough after I get it with the, uh, the rag, I'm going to rinse it off and water just to neutralize any acid that, you know, might be lying around there. And then I'm going to lube it back up. And then I'm going to close it and try to pick it. Um, but uh, I have picked it open once. It came locked, but uh, I, I picked it open. I didn't capture it on camera, but I picked it open. So there you go. I'm going to pause this right now. Pull that thing out clean it up. Yeah, that's how it is before I got it with the rag. It's a good thing it's a mild acid to be eating my skin to the bones right now, but you can see the gunk coming off of my hand. That's why you usually get a rag. That's kind of cool with a little red in there, but if that was real paint, it, I don't know. I think it's going to come off. All right, and we're back. Well, this thing really cleaned up nicely. Um, the shackle is one area where if you had a, a bumping wheel, uh, you may even need like um, a wire wheel, you know, to, to clean that all out if you wanted to. I'm going to leave that like that. Uh, I just basically wipe this off with a rag. But uh, there's something interesting I found on here. Look at the top of that shackle. Someone took a screwdriver because you can see the... The way they did that, they, they took a screwdriver or some other flat piece of metal and they were banging down on this pretty hard um, to try to, you know, force it open. I don't know why. I don't know why they weren't hitting on this side. But anyway, it looks like it probably withstood that because uh, this wasn't broken or anything. Um, but yeah, that gunk is still kind of like in there i did one it's it's only been like a day and a half and stuff but it really cleaned up nicely now you can see the little plate uh where all the the pins are at underneath there for the pin stack so yeah it, it cleaned up real well it's real smooth and everything um it uh it'll get your hands all blackened and everything mainly from the shackle get out of there we just tried to keep all right, we've we've done away with you. We don't need you anymore. Red fibers. Part of history, but uh, that part of history is going away. It'll live on in memories. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of uh, lubricant because I've already ran a little bit of tap water. You don't have to like soak the hell out of it and stuff. But you can see there's some water right there. And I'm just going to shoot some in there. Try not get too much on the camera. <laughs> Hold your breath. Uh -oh. Kill some more spiders. Uh, uh, the shackle is like magnetic steel. Uh, not like stainless steel, we know. Because stainless steel is still, um, you can still get it attracted to a magnet, it's just not as strong as like regular carbon steel. All right, let me close the shackle up now, and then I'm going to have to pick it open. That's what happens when you close the shackle. Uh-oh, now you've done it. Right, so let's reorient the camera over here. The first time I opened it up, and only time that I opened it up, um, I had it off camera, 
and uh, I was just sitting in the chair, you know, because I had just gotten the, the package of the four padlocks, and um, they were all locked except for uh, that American one, which it was locked too, but it's the only one that had a keys. So, I haven't really picked this one on camera, but it's cleaned up a lot now. And another thing is, I don't know if this is a a mark or it's almost like a um, a pen. You know, there's this cutout. Let me see if I can zoom this guy in. Do, 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 do. You got to make that noise. Do, 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 do. It's really recessed in there fairly deep. But, uh, yeah, you see that? Weird. Why would you have that over there? That's just where the the shackle... I don't think it's a shackle retaining pin or anything. But could be. I have no idea. And I'm going to try to pick this guy open. I think it picks counterclockwise. But uh, I'm going to try clockwise first. Uh, we got a fairly wide open keyway here, it looks like. Let me see if the camera's all straightened out first. First get my attention wrench. Yeah, this one's good. Alright. And get to the oh, his squiggly leg squatted. Pushed on him too much. It's not like a real tripod where let me get this guy straightened out first. Sorry. Z camera reorientation yeah, he's got like segmented legs that they're fairly stiff but if you push on them too much whoa all right there we go all right sit stay man this is weird well i didn't pay a whole lot for this tripod it was only like about two or three dollars so what can you expect? You can expect a lot of things, but what you're going to get, that's a whole different story. All right, let me get my tension wrench back here. And I'm going to try this guy. Whoa! <laughs> Man! It's a good th it's a good thing uh, it opened that fast because I've been running my mouth uh, so much, but wow. That that surprised me. <laughs> but I'll take it. Look at that red gunk again. Ah I'm bleeding! No, it's just red gunk. But yeah, um yeah, it's part of that navy red bag that see it, it's it's a mild acid so it's not gonna like eat up this cloth and start smoking your hands get set on fire and like i said i've already neutralized it with water but um yeah it's weird the things that you get the forensics sometimes you have to do you know like before you pick on it you should look at the um the core you know and see if you can see any scratch marks which is rarely there usually it's something from the key it's not like a if you see one up here you're thinking oh somebody did top the keyway now it may be where the key ran into it you know um but when you see something like that like that i had that one fram padlock it looked like a hatchet attack or a big knife and like a bowie knife because they were marks like this but long you know and somebody was just smashing the back of it. It's kind of bowed out. They were just smashing the crap out. Anyways, thank you for watching uh, this this video about... Uh, it's like a continuation of the vinegar video, I guess. But uh, that's another Corbin that's been uh, somewhat restored. And uh, pretty nice padlock. My theory on this one, um, where it was at and everything, it was locking up the liquor cabinet. And... Uh, you know, at sea, and that's why uh, it's so easy to pick. You know, it looks big and beefy, but, you know, you're a sailor. You got to get drunk once in a while, and 
relieve the tension and everything of being out on the sea without any women around. This is before they allowed women in combat and stuff. So, thank you for watching and uh, go Navy.